What's goody misfits? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get overlays on your console stream using Lightstream. So let's go ahead and hop right into the video. For those of you wondering what the heck Lightstream is, Lightstream Studio is a web-based streaming studio that lets creators focus more on their content instead of being a technical wizard, right? We all know that OBS and other things can be a little bit more difficult, but with Lightstream, you don't have to download anything. Literally, all you do is pull up the site and get started. The most important step to getting started is setting your DNS on your console manually to these numbers. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, don't worry. I have left two video links from Lightstream's YouTube channel itself in the description showing you how to do this. So please make sure you go watch these videos. After you're done changing your DNS settings, you need to sign up for the Lightstream gamer plan with your Twitch account. It does cost as little as $8 a month, but for now it's free until July 23rd. Zero commitment required, so make sure you go ahead and jump on this offer and check it out right now. Okay, so we're over on the Lightstream site, and as you can see, if you keep on scrolling down, Lightstream site gives you more information about different things that you can do with this program. But what we're going to do is focus on clicking on start streaming. Okay, so after you click on start streaming, it'll send you to this site right here. This is basically your builder and this is where you're going to be doing all of your creations, adding your overlays, adding your chat, all of the above. So please ignore the already scenes that I have set up down here at the bottom. What we're going to be doing is starting with a new scene. Okay, so to add a new scene, what you want to do is go ahead and click on this plus sign right here. After clicking on the plus sign, it'll bring you to this blank screen. What you want to do is go over to this green plus sign and go ahead and click on it. And what you want to do is click on console feed. Console feed is your gameplay when you're live. So when you're live, you will see the game that you're playing and you'll see it right inside the console feed box. But because of, of course I am not live, I'm offline, then you can't see it right now. Okay, so we have our gameplay, but we want to add our overlay. To add your overlay, just go ahead and click on the plus sign and click on image. What you want to do is upload an image if you don't already have an image uploaded. But I'm going to go ahead and click on my image. Okay, so I have my rainbow overlay right here. What we want to do is resize our gameplay because we want it to fit perfectly inside of the overlay. So what I'm going to do is click on console feed, make sure I have that selected, and then just resize it real quick. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and hold down shift. And when you hold down shift, you'll be able to stretch the gameplay screen. So you could technically stop right here if you want it. The next steps are optional. What we're going to be doing is adding a face cam and a mic. Of course, you can have your PS4 or Xbox camera plugged into your system as usual, and the console feed will pick it up. To add the face cam, what we're going to be doing is clicking the plus sign, click on camera. As you can see right here, it'll pick up whatever webcam you're using i'm using just my laptop face cam from my mac that i'm working on right now just go ahead and click on the plus button and as you can see it'll pop up big but all you have to do is just resize it so i'm going to click it resize it and change it to the size i would want it to be on the stream all right so i placed the webcam where i want it to be now what i'm going to do is just add um my face cam overlay just the same way i did with the overlay all right so i added the face cam overlay of course you want to make sure that the overlay is overlaying the face cam in the layer section so please don't have the camera overlaying the overlay or it won't look right so you want to go ahead and make sure that it is overlaying the camera okay so to add a mic to this what you want to do is just go ahead and click on the plus button and go to audio source the builder will pick up whichever mic that you have plugged into your um, computer. And of course, I have the blue snowball, so it'll just pick up the blue snowball. Now it'll add it to the bottom right here. You can change the volume of the mic. You can also change the vo volume of the console feed. So if you want to balance it out and have your mic be louder than the game 100%, then just go ahead and turn the co console feed down 
just a little bit. Now, what I will say before moving on is you do not want to have a mic plugged into your, your console system and have it plugged into the builder because when you do this and you stream, you will have an echo in your stream because your mic will be picking up from the console feed as well. So for example, if you have a headset like I do and you're talking to your friends and you think, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna have a mic to talk to my friends and then I'm gonna have this mic to talk to the stream. Well, it does not work like that. If you talk from this mic to your friends, it will also pick up into the stream. So it's really not necessary at all to even have a mic plugged into the builder okay guys last but not least you can add third-party integrations using Lightstream. so basically like to have my chat i use um pixel chat to have this bar down at the bottom i use stream elements and to use this um bar at the top i also use pixel chat so if you want to add a third-party integration let me just go ahead and show you guys how you can do that all right so all you want to do is just go ahead and click on the plus sign go down to the bottom to third party integrations and then for example to use my to get a chat on my stream what I do is go ahead and use pixel chat and then what I would do is just type the link to my chat here and I'm going to show you how I get the link in the first place so moving on to pixel chat site I made a chat and what I wanted to do is just go ahead and click on copy link and then go over to light stream and then just go ahead and paste that and click enter the chat is there you just can't see any comments right here just go ahead and resize it the way you would want it to be underneath your chat oh. all right so i went to pixel chat and i just toggled on the preview the um bot messages so you guys can see how the chat would look but when you're live you can just keep this up you can just go ahead and click on whatever scene that you want to click on and it'll switch on your stream to be able to view your comments from this from the builder all you have to do is just click on the little side and then you'll see your chat over here you'll also see the stream up at the top as you can just keep this builder up and just go ahead and view your comments from here and change scenes and everything from here well guys that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope this was helpful to you this is something that i just recently found out about and i use light stream for my streams as you can see inside the clips that i showed before it is really great it looks really well on stream and it works pretty great for me if you guys need any help with live stream while you're in the builder, just go ahead and join the Discord. It will be linked in the description below, along with a bunch of other helpful articles to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Missouri.